Although my pre-expectations were not met, I am thoroughly not only sat satisfied, but surprised of the outcome of this series. This was a good one. So much to talk about. Let's jump into the review now of the new series, Night Sky. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the series Night Sky coming to Prime Video May 20th. There's eight episodes they're about an hour, hour each and this was a good one. And to kind of go back into my opening thoughts, Night Sky, you see the trailer, you, you see the promotional work, uh, the posters and all that other good stuff, you instantly think sci-fi. And for me, I was like, okay. This clearly has something to do with space exploration, um, maybe time travel, whatever it may be. But like, I love that genre. Like, it's, it's not even, if you've been a fan of the channel, you already know. Like anything on that note, I'm all the way in for. However, I have to say that it did not really satisfy that craving. Not yet. So my thoughts until, upon going into this was like, oh, it's going to be that. And it completely wasn't. To kind of jump ahead, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly anticipating season two. That's where I think the sci-fi factor is going to really dive deep into everything. This is more of a drama embedded into a love story, dealing with like really relatable, um, very human factors, dealing with trauma, uh, relationships, uh, just all sorts of different things like that, that I think that's what really was the catalyst of the show. It's a little bit of a slow burn. But by the time you get into about episode four and five, things really kick into gear. And then by the time you near the conclusion of the season seven and eight, you're going to be hooked on it, much like me, ready for more. But let's get into it. First off, you have to take a look at the cast here. J.K. Simmons, Sissy Spacek. Okay, first of all, the two of them live in legends. Not even, their resumes alone speaks for just the amount of work for the duration of time that they've been putting into. I think Sissy is fantastic. I think J.K. Simmons may be the best character actor on the planet. The two of them carrying this show on their back, no brainer that I, I had confidence that I knew the show was gonna be special, regardless of whatever genre this, this, this series was gonna be in. But the two of them, really good as Franklin and Irene York. Now, I thought instantly that their performances were so realistic you almost have to go and fact check to make sure that they actually aren't a couple. I thought realistically on screen, they just had really good, normal, relatable factors of uh, like, not, not just factors, but interactions and all that other stuff that they actually feels like somebody grandparents, you know? And I thought their portrayals of their character, the, the bringing these characters to life, I thought they did a really good job that should resonate in almost every home. Um, and, not only just that, to kind of talk about a little bit more into the specifics of them, I need to kind of tackle the synopsis a little bit just to kind of let you know what's going on here. Now, Irene and Frank are a couple um, that about a year ago, um, they discovered this chamber that was buried in their backyard. Um, not only just in the backyard, but beneath their shed. And this chamber then leads them to a strange deserted planet. For them, this is like vacation to them. They got like a little like uh, scenic view where they can breathe, where they're still in the chamber, where they just kind of kick back. You know, they got their chairs there, kind of reflect on life. And you know, it's, it's a vacation really away from home, but really just in their backyard. Um, and that's where they kind of reflect on a lot of things. And they have done this numerous times. This is their kickback. This is their, their moment of peace among one another. Um, so, you know, sort of a place where they just decompress and reflect on not only just their relationship, but life in general. And like the two of them have been through a lot. So it's really needed for them to kind of get away, but at the same time, just really not being that far away from their home. And, you know, Irene is dealing with issues. Frank is dealing with issues. And the two of them kind of work together, as you would expect in the relationship, um, as long as they've been together to really just... Uh, find ways to kind of mend certain things that they're going through. And so 
with that, you know, this is a secret. No one knows about this. And, and, and of course, you would imagine if anybody did know about this, like this would bring a lot more trouble to their yard than they, than they ever could want to endure. Um, but with that being said, one day Irene, and in the turn of events, decides that she's going to go hit this uh, chamber by herself. And it's kind of a little unconventional for them because, like, they usually go as a couple. But Irene's like, you know what? Going to do things by myself this time until she uh comes across this random guy in jude played by che hansen uh who is just there where did he come from and this changes everything now it changes everything that they knew about the chamber everything that they assumed about this planet um it really puts everything into question because now that jude is here you know what does this mean for franklin who now realized that irene tried to kind of go about things by herself Jew comes in instantly makes an impact on his family because like Irene is this really nurturing grandmother. So she accepts him as almost if it's, it's if if it's her own child. And he assumes this role as a caretaker. And Franklin has a problem with it because he's always sort of been that primary caretaker for his wife. And now that she's kind of finding like peace with him and almost solidarity with Jude. It brings this really interesting dynamic amongst the three of them. Plus, there's still the secret of where did he come from? Can you trust him? What's his intentions? And can they keep this a secret from everybody else, especially with their neighbor, Byron, who is this really, really, uh, I'm almost want to say a stereotypical nerd who's just always looking for the next big conspiracy theory or some type of something he can get involved in, who's just constantly wondering, what the Yorks are up to. So like a lot of things are kind of going on all at once. But like I said, this is truly driven by this family drama blanketed by a love story um, in the surroundings of all this kind of sci-fi stuff, but truly dealing with like human trauma. And every single character is dealing with a different factor. I don't want to get into it because it's really going to be like spoilers, but like every single character has some bit of trauma that they're dealing with, that they're battling, that they're trying to you know, come to terms with or, or or just peace, you know? And then they got their granddaughter, Denise, played by Kaya McKern, who has what I feel the most relatable of them. I mean, she is a college student who isn't really content with being a college student. So she's thinking about, you know, life beyond this, but she doesn't want to do this. She's not currently happy where she's at now. So she's thinking like, where does life take her beyond it? She's looking for her next adventure and <laughs> go digging she might go find it because there's so much different things happening with her family alone and beyond that the rooted trauma that she's coming with as a child is just a story in its own i really really liked her story art um so you got so many different other things going on that i have not even mentioned so characters were even like minimal role really have a arc of interest and you know again you have jew where you're like where did he come from what's his mission he's looking for his dad that's, that's his goal. He's looking for his dad, and he's making that very clear to the Yorks, but can they trust them? What's the secrets with the chamber? What's the history with the chamber? Um, the planet, other folks who are actually looking for Jude, this creepy neighbor in Byron who just wants to figure out what's going on in their backyard, their granddaughter Denise and her significance to the family, the whole relationship between Franklin and Irene, and their challenge like their love is ultimately challenged and they go through it and again their chemistry so together you may almost think that they're actually married in real life because some of the dialogue and some of this their their mannerism towards one another is just really a testament to how good of actors that they are and i gotta say jk has some of the best dialogue some of the best one-liners in this series again he's just one of the best character actors so like when he steps into a character you believe it and he, he does what he does best in this. So, like, there's a lot that goes on in this. And I think, again, just to kind of give you a little bit of caution to going into it, if you're coming into this thinking this is going to be your next sci-fi series with space exploration and whatnot, they really don't dive into that much. But it's a little bit of a slow burn, really character-driven, uh, good story arcs for all the characters. By the time you're into, like, the fourth or fifth episode, things really kick into gear. Things start to really connect. And then the seventh and eighth is when you're just fully injected into this series. And then you just can't wait for what's to come. And what's to come and beyond is going to be interesting. I'm already intrigued about the possibilities of what they can do next. 
and I thought they set a really good foundation of a season one to really uh, spark the interest for folks going into season two. And look, Prime Video has been very, very generous in giving season two. So like we can already start to, you know, strategize on what that's going to be uh, because we know it's going to come. They, they, I think almost every series, but maybe one I know has gotten a season two. And I think this one definitely is deserving of it. By the way, the visuals of space and this distant planet is fantastic. The acting's fantastic. I love the score with this. So the production, the quality and all that was really good. But this is truly driven by the performances. Uh, the legendary actor Sissy and JK, um, they make this show happen. And without them, you know, I'm not going to say the show doesn't work. But without them, I think that their draw being attached to this is the reason why you're in the door. And they absolutely keep you grounded for the entire time. So, And one other quick thing I need to add is that when they show Irene and Franklin when they're younger, I have to say that these other actors who portray their characters their younger versions of them the continuity amongst them with jk and sissy is really astonishing the fact that like you still see that character even with different actors playing them really brought to life that you again the continuity amongst all of them it just really works and like they show the younger versions of them because they show them about you know just how their relationship um, and their family has evolved over the years, you know, with their son, uh, with their granddaughter when they were born. So they're just showing these different milestones of their relationship as to explaining where they're at now as a couple. Because like I said, Franklin and Irene, they've been tested. Their love has been tested and they've been dealing with a lot in that family. A lot of trauma, uh, health issues and just a, a lot of different things. I don't want to get into it specifically, but a lot. But I got to say, like the younger actors who portrays their characters franklin and irene really really are deserving of praise about the continuity that they bring to these characters so that when you see jk and sissy you're just like yep it makes sense i understand you know that it almost feels like they de-aged them to an extent because it just works and i gotta say that the younger a actress who plays um uh irene almost resembles sissy which is a very eerie thing so yeah just definitely wanted to throw that in there but check this out again, Night Sky, it is fantastic. Again, it's not what I thought it was gonna be, but I came out so satisfied and really want more, and I think you will too. So yeah, check it out again, coming to Prime Video, eight episodes, hour each, May 20th. Jump in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this after you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.